Hey guys, welcome back. Time to go check the ice. It's a high of about five degrees today. It's been about 10 days since we had open water on the pond. And we got 20 inches of snow, at least three or four different snow events and we're gonna go check the ice thickness I don't even have the auger I'm just gonna spud bar a hole <sighs> ah yes got insulation got a couple three three inches of snow on top of the ice here with as cold as it's been, because we've got insulation, it's really, I mean, we've got that amount of ice, which is plenty safe. It's probably six, seven, six to seven inches. With as cold as it's been, negative 10, 15 overnight, highs in the maybe single digits over the last 10 days. He would have thought that we would make more than seven inches of ice, but um, we haven't. This is some good, solid black ice underneath this, that crusty top. Guys, I stuck a turntable. We got a turntable on the bottom of the camera, like this. So how great is that gonna be for cord management? That guy, yeah. So much easier than winding it around one loop at a time. HDMI in. Uh, I need some power. Okay, and record. Okay. Chiseling eight inch holes is not very easy. This is stupid because I didn't even remember that I didn't have an ice fishing pole over here, we'll make do. Well, if this isn't the most hoopty thing you've seen, I did get a perch to come look at it. Couple perch. Here we are. Don't even have my ice fishing pole. I'm trying to jig in a hole with a six foot rod. These are little guys. I was hoping to make enough commotion down here to get a walleye to swim onto our screen here. Oh guys, here's a walleye. Nice. He had no interest in it though. I am ill-equipped for fishing, but we have good solid ice and that's what I'm excited about. Oh guys, look at that. Another fish. Oh, we got, is that a red ear sunfish? Turn sideways for me. Yeah, there we go. What time is it? Yeah. Let's go.
All right, let's check what kind of ice we're looking at for real here. I'll hook the bottom. There it is. Eight and a half. Eight and a half inches. All right. Fleet Farm was out of minnows. They had no minnows. So we're gonna stick some, some spikes on here. See if just a little bit of, just a little bit of meat. They didn't have any? No, none. Were they sold out or they just Yeah, they were sold out. These are stinky for sure. It looks pretty good. We got a little rattling spoon. I'm gonna have you go down on that hole over there. I'm gonna see if I can rotate the AquaView camera to find you over there. Got about 15 degrees today. JC, you're gonna catch the first fish this winter. And JC, you are set up to fish here. Just little tiny jigs. Yeah, just And I just let it sit. Do you see anything on the graph? Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah, Drace, nice one. It's actually not a small one. No, it's a nice one. Good job. Can you take them off so I don't yeah. take my gloves off? I will. All right, JC with the first perch. Good job, honey. So my daughter got the first fish. I moved around a little bit, found a few different holes, just trying some different tactics. The camera batteries on the GoPro have really started to crap out, so I didn't get much footage on the GoPro. Ordered some new camera batteries, so those will be here soon. But in the meantime, sped up the camera footage here, got a number of perch to come in to view. And this school of bluegills, there had to have been 20 at least, probably more than that, came in. Again, I didn't have bluegill bait on here. But looking at the size of them, after one season of fish feeding, not a lot of food from the supplemental feeder, but I'm impressed with the size that the bluegills have gotten. And I'm excited to explore more of the fishing habitat structures under the ice. And then as the light, the sun went down, it got darker and darker under there. And this perch came hot onto the scene. Well, um, the GoPro batteries are dead, but that was a pretty nice perch that came up and hit that. Let's get a tape on that guy. Just to see how we're coming along with our, with our perch. All right, Trace, put that, put that down here. Get it good. We're going eight and a half. Let's purchase tip to nose to tail, eight and a half inches. He's chilly. We'll get him back in there. Yeah. There she goes. And this is what the kids have been waiting for with the elevation built right into the backyard. Makes for a perfect sledding hill right down onto the frozen pond. Yeah. Wow, you really get speed on that. Good one. Okay. 